Welcome to q and with Coach Edit. Today's question comes from Cora and reads as follows. What are the do's and don'ts for a beginner in running? CoachEdit.net Like and subscribe for more. Thank you very much for that question. And there are a couple of essential do's and don'ts when it comes to running. Do. Do a little bit of something every single day consistency is the key when it comes to building yourself up to having a fit strong and able to run body that will be standing in you you in good stead for years and years and years to come it's way better to do one mile for five days in a row than do five miles in one day and be absolutely broken for the rest of the week so from my perspective consistency is the key even if you have one or maybe two rest days during the course of a week, especially when you're starting out, being consistent in your day-to-day -day physical activity is key. That's number one. Number two, what is vitally important is that you don't increase your distance too much too quickly. The 10% rule has become folklore in running for a very important purpose. The vast majority of the people that get themselves injured, especially when they start out increasing their run volume by more than 10% on a weekly basis. And what's also very important to remember here is, especially when you're new and starting out, your cardiovascular fitness is going to increase faster than what your ligaments, tendon, and tendon strength, your muscle strength, so your cardiovascular fitness will increase. Your Muscles get fitter at a slightly slower pace, or stronger at a slightly slower pace. Your ligaments and tendons take even longer to get strong. So if you keep on increasing the amount of distance that you do to compensate for how much stronger you're feeling on a cardiovascular fitness level, you're increasing your volume too fast for what your ligaments and tendons are able to do. Some people are able to increase by a bit more than 10%, and there are one or two people that maybe need to increase by less than 10%. But the rule of thumb across the board is if you're increasing at no more than 10% on a weekly basis, you'll be staying under the threshold of what the strengthening process of your ligaments and tendons is able to handle. And that way you'll be able to stay injury free. So that's number two. Number three, running drills. Learn a couple of key running drills that will help you with your running form. Do these every single day, even if it's a day that you not haven't got a run scheduled in your training program, do your running drills because that will help you have a better, more efficient and more injury-free running form. From a triathlon perspective, the Brownlee brothers do their running drills every single day. Seven days a week they do running drills. And guess what? They run at sub-30 minutes for 10 k's but does that mean that well they actually run at about 28 sub 28 minutes for 10 k's does that mean that they desperately need the drills in the order to learn how to run better no they don't but they do the drills every single day because it cements good and proper form into their running style and it prevents them from starting to develop bad habits those type of bad habits especially start sneaking into your run form the more tired you become. So that's my take on the matter. Those are the three things. Is number one is uh, of vital importance. You've got to be able to keep running for a long period of time. So number one, consistency. Number two, the ten percent rule. Number three, running drills. Those are the three most important factors that you need to be keeping in mind and taking into account and the do's and don'ts you can build around that so uh, do keep consistent don't run more than 10 percent more each week week on week on week and do do running drills every single day seven days a week there you have it post any comments questions criticisms that you may have in the comment section down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content share it out amongst your friends if you're new to my channel there's a subscribe button down there Hit that subscribe button, stay subscribed for all the new content that comes out every single day of the week. 
And last but by no means least until the two of us meet again. Stay carved up for the win. See you next time. Cheers.